it's your friendly neighborhood laser lady and today we are going to learn how to layer acrylics so one of the bonuses with this video is because I've been doing so many free downloads is I made a design that is a free download for you so let's do it everything lasered out I have three different metals to make and we're going to use three different methods of applying this side grip very fast set water thin solvent cement it goes on super clear what it essentially does is kind of melt the plastics and then when they dry they bond together so since it is so water thin it's actually called the capillary method to apply it and how we apply it is either through this little bottle which has like a really thin needle that it just kind of drips out of there's also a syringe type that you can get with a bit bigger of a needle there at the end or my personal favorite and i'm sure this is a pain for those with bigger hands but is actually just using the little eye hole here from a needle that I'll just kind of dip it in and then it'll suck it up so you'll see that later this I like with small very precise applications now but before we start applying any of this solvent we're going to want to buff our pieces so they are nice and shiny and ready to be completed so what I like to use with that is my Novus number two fine scratch remover, which is my absolute favorite. Essentially, I just take this microfiber sort of cloth and a little bit of the Novus number two and give it a bit of polish. Okay, so now that I've got everything all polished up and the paper backing's taken off of the back, we're going to assemble them. We have three different variations of the same file of the free file download. And we're going to do a little bit different way of putting the solvent on there for each of them. So for the first one, where we have the number one totally cut out of it, I have here on the bottom one eighth inch blue and then one sixteenth inch white and then that I'm going to kind of embed into the white is a 1 8 inch black. So I have everything kind of floating around in there right now. For this particular design with the kind of embedded and then raised, I'll be able to show you once I glue it all together, we're going to use this little doodad. There are various thicknesses of needles they're not really I mean you can't you'd have to really push hard to get that to go in anything but I'll call it a needle for now it is a hollow tube and they come in various widths such as if you need a super thick one as co in comparison to this syringe it is quite a bit thicker as you can see so it really pours out of there but since we're doing such dainty applications I like having a pretty thin uh, needle tube thingy Dingy. This stuff tends to evaporate rather quickly and it smells just terrible. You might even want to wear gloves because if you get it on your skin, that's just no good. So either be super careful or use the precautions you need. I'm going to pretty much just to get that in the here without pouring it and making a mess, I'm just going to deflate this a bit and stick it right in there. So we have just a little bit in there. We really don't need a lot because I'm not making, you know, a zillion projects right now. And now we're going to line this up. The thing with this though is sometimes even the warmth of your hands can create pressure and it'll just kind of flip out and spit out of there. So that's why this isn't my super favorite way of applying things, but it is a nice big bottle you can hold on to and then direct around your project. I'm going to be rather careful and just stick it in one of these corners until it starts sucking up here. I don't know if you could see that but it does just slide right under there. Good old water tension and whatnot. In about 24 hours, it will cure completely and be a pretty super solid piece. Here you go. I'm going to attempt to, with these two clear pieces, show you 
what it kind of looks like when it's sucking up underneath the two pieces that are on top of each other. So you just kind of get an idea of what's happening under the layers. So let's see if I can get this to work. There you go. So you could probably see that a little bit there where it has come together. It's a little bit darker, but it just sucks it up and it starts the bond pretty quick, melting the two layers together. Yeah, pretty cool. So that is essentially how you use one of these little bottle doodads. So we can see it's got the three layers, pretty cool, and it has a specific look to it having this black layer actually inside of the white layer. So on the second one, we have vector etched the number one on here. And this is so you can place your bits right exactly where you want them. It's just kind of like a helpful outline, essentially, to get them to all be exactly where you want it to be. Now for this one, let me show you my favorite, the upholstery needle. Now you can get these pretty much anywhere, and I know it's kind of not normally in your laser arsenal of supplies and tools, but I just find it's helpful when I have pieces even like one-fourth the size of this that I need to get together. It's a lot better than making a mess out of this. So essentially I just dip the eye hole side in. You can see just barely I have a little teeny bit in there. Just a perfect little amount. I'm going to take the number one off here for now and just center this on here. Right where I want it. And I just kind of touch the filled eye hole on the little corners here and it sucks it right up. Maybe you can see that it will just whoop. If holding a needle like this isn't very comfortable, you can even just like tape it to a pen or a pencil, just make the where you hold it a little bit bigger. And now this one's ready to go. As you can see, it also has the layers in comparison to the embedded layers. This one is a bit different instead of being the 1 8 inch, 1 16 inch, and then the 1 8 inch inside of the 1 16 I've got an eighth inch and two one sixteenth inch uh, thicknesses of acrylic. Cool, cool. All right, and then for the last one, this one works just as well as any of the others is to actually, surprise, surprise, use a paintbrush. And you can do that either like if you wanted to brush it on and then stick this on or the same sort of deal as when you have a drop of it, it just kind of sucks up on the corners there. The only downfall is that if you kind of smear it all over the place, you will create a bit of a film that will be hard to buff out because of all of the different layers. I should note that depending on the brushes you use, if it's a plastic bristled brush, then this is just gonna melt it <laughs> so do try to find some sort of natural hair or other style brush tip than plastic. There you have it, a free file download of number one badges plus kind of an updated how-to tutorial of layering your acrylics. Please comment if you have any questions or suggestions and we will see you later in the week. Bye! <laughs>